Hi everyone, this is Outside Xbox down here at the EA Showcase in London. Uh, we've just been playing Dead Space 3. Uh, Jane, what were your impressions? Well, what we saw was the all-new co-op. It's new for Dead Space 3. We didn't have it in one or two, obviously. And you're playing as either Isaac Clarke, classic hero of, sure. of Dead Space, or John Carver, who's a military man. He's on a revenge mission because his wife and child were murdered by necromorphs, which is, you know, the classic uh, Dead Space tragedy. Yeah. He's not really dealing with it all that well. No, he's, he's properly bonkers. And in keeping with the Dead Space themes of insanity, he's got hallucinations. He sees things that Isaac Clarke doesn't see, which is interesting. So we're playing uh, side by side on, on two screens, and Isaac will see an ordinary space corridor you know, classic space, corridor. space corridor. And uh, John Carver will see like a big toy toy soldier, such as was played with by his dead son. Right. And, and that will trigger another hallucination where Isaac's face will turn into the face of his dead wife, for example. Quite, quite. And as John Carver, well, if you're playing in co-op and you've got John Carver, it unlocks uh, side missions, side areas that you can't access in single player. So there's actually more content if yeah. you're playing with two people. So apart from the insanity hallucinations, the characters play uh, fairly similarly. I mean, um, jo like you say, John's a military man, so he seems to kind of have a slightly more militaristic suit, and you know, he's got, sl I think, maybe slightly different weapons. That was the kind of the impression I'm getting, but you can swap them between each other, and it's, it, they seem to be very similar in the way they actually play. I think they're identical. Like They have, um, obviously, different suits, and John Carver's got the red and black, yeah. and looks kind of badass, and space marine -y. And And Isaac Clark still, he's the engineer, so he's kind of got a little bit more of a utilitarian sort of vibe, but um, everyone can use all the weapons, so there's there's no weapon that's exclusive to Isaac, exclusive to Carver. Yeah, and the, the insanity thing, I mean, you, we, you were talking about the toy soldiers, that was a kind of... Uh, just little things in the environment, but then there was a full-on kind of insanity episode where you were in a kind of floating mad world full of crazy stuff as well. Yeah, yeah, full-on hallucinations yeah. that you can only see on this screen, and, and the way the producers were talking it up is if you were playing it online, which is the only way to play it, there's no split screen. Yeah. Um, it would be interesting because you'd be on the headset being like, can you see this? Yeah. And your partner would be like, no man, what's going on? Yeah. And that's interesting, and, and there's been a lot of skepticism. I've been skeptical about having a co-op partner in a game that was, you know, a, a horror game. And, and I think it's intrinsically, whatever they say, is going to be less scary playing with another character. Yeah. But uh, as a trade-off, you've got these hallucinations. And, and like you said, that in itself can be pretty scary or at least interesting. Yeah, I mean, it, it has the potential to be quite one-sided, though. If only John Carver is seeing the, the scary stuff, then Isaac's having this very kind of normal, linear adventure, whereas the person playing as John is having this crazy ass hallucination. It does seem like it might be slightly unbalanced, but then there are, there's some of the stuff you can see on Isaac's screen as well. It, it's, it, it didn't seem to be that clearly defined as to who could see what. Yeah, well, also that was in this demo. I would like to think that they'll play with it a bit more and give Isaac some spooky stuff and, and then give Carver some stuff as well. And all the alternative is that Isaac's actually the saner one in this game, which would be interesting because yeah. traditionally he's mad, plagued by right. ghosts or nightmares and marker hallucinations. Yeah. And it would be interesting if this time around he's the sane one. I heard him say something to Carver. He's like, you've just got to ignore them. They're not really there. So he's, he's like, I've been there, man. And you've got, to, you've got to ignore all this stuff. So that's interesting. Also, my pet theory, uh, look away now if, if you don't want the theoretical spoilers. I might be right. I might be right. Could my be. theory is that ja John Carver is a Tyler Durden-like character. He's so much the archetypal space marine soldier that I think he's in Isaac's head. Isaac is not, it's not unknown for Isaac to have other characters in his head that yeah. aren't really there, that, you know, um, are conjured up by the market. So my yeah. theory is that John Carver is a bit of a Tyler Durden. He's his imaginary friend. Yeah. And so he thinks he's progressing through, you know, a level through a facility with a co-op partner, but in fact, it's all, all in his head. Turn it off. Hey, Isaac. Isaac? Carver, what's going on? Hey! Isaac has had these hallucinations in the past and all of a sudden they've stopped and this guy who's just turned up out of nowhere is currently having hallucinations as well. It is, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's a good theory. We'll Layered insanity, yeah. sort of layers on layers. Right. Yeah. And there, there was some other new stuff we saw. There was a scanning bot that you could uh, deploy that would go around and find like resources for you that you could use at weapons benches uh, to craft your own kit. They were showing that, that off at Gamescom. Um, Blueprints that you could swap with your friends to make like new new weapons from scratch. A couple of new uh, couple of new enemies as well, right? Yeah, we saw the Twitcher, which is this incredibly fast necro character that, like you say, it's got a short-range teleport, kind of spooky sort of 
black inky effect. Is yeah. that how you describe yeah, it? Yeah, it was kind of smoky, inky, swirly kind of thing. Which is very cool and also demands you use the um, the freeze stasis. The stasis a lot because they are very, very fast and you see some of the Church of Unitology, the Unitologist soldiers who are the, the enemy types, the human enemy types. Yeah. So they were patrolling in a drop ship at the start and kind of uh, you had to stay out of the open areas because they'd be shooting at you from, from out there. Right, and we see some of them on the ground and they get stabbed up by twitchers. Uh, but no fighting, no, no shooty fighting with human enemies in this demo, which was good to see um, because, yeah, that's not been received so well. I'm not yeah. so... Not so pumped to be shooting people in a third-person right, right. shooter type game. Is that maybe addressing the kind of the criticisms people had of that by going, look, here's a proper kind of spooky horror section? Yeah, well, I'm I'm actually pretty interested. From this demo, I'm I'm a little more optimistic about Dead Space 3 than I was after Gamescom, just because the hallucination, insanity, sort of asymmetric view mm. thing is quite interesting, and I am I'm interested to see it, what they do with it. If yeah. they can be inventive, if they can, I don't know, like you were speculating on what they could do with it. Yeah, I mean, they could, you could do all kinds of things, all kind of meta game things where you, like uh, the, the kind of false crash in Batman Arkham Asylum or any of the stuff from Eternal Darkness, uh, Sanity's Requiem on the GameCube, even like Psycho Mantis style stuff from Metal Gear Solid where you kind of take the uh, the hallucination element out of the game and into the almost to the real world. I mean, that would be super interesting. I'm not sure if they're going to do it, but uh, there is the potential there. So. That's one for the wish list. Yeah. So that's uh, Dead Space 3 down here at the EA Showcase. Check back on Outside Xbox for more previews. You can do or die. We're stuck without your help. Dead Space spoilers and Fight Club spoilers there. Um, but, it, yeah, so...